but painting has kind of taken a big. Let's talk about so that. I was acting. Well, wait, I was acting, and I See, acted I keep for years. You, but I'm, 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 I'm getting impatient here. Right. I was acting for years, and uh, and then I, I, you know, someone said to me they had a little theater, and they said, Marsha, I'll direct you in a play. You pick the play, and and we'll do it. And I read all the plays. I. I I couldn't think of a single play that I wanted to do, that I thought, I've got to do this play. I, I liked uh, uh, Two for the Seesaw. I thought I was perfect for that, but that had just been done, and I didn't want to you know, redo it. So I started writing. That's why I started writing. I said, well, I'll write one for myself. Good for you. Yeah. And it was scary the first time that you wrote something, or it came out kind of easy? Cause, no, it well, came out easy because I, I didn't know anything, and I was stupid. And I was kind of living with a Pulitzer Prize winning playwright at the time, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you learned a few tricks So he helped there. me a little bit, a little bit, yeah. What's the key? I mean, Although I was key? very stubborn. But you, I mean. Didn't really listen. Well, but you are, you are a great artist. And great artists yeah. have a gift and have great instincts. And you are connected. Like, your, your, your work is always connecting, okay? Whether you're writing, whether you're acting. I haven't seen your paintings, <laughs> though. I have to go and see your work. You can see them online. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go and check. I promise you I'm going to go, go and check online. the work. We were talking about it right before we started. And Marsha says, Sissy, let's not forget that I'm a painter, too. Yes. And I'm so and glad that you brought important. it up because I, I, I completely, you know, I, I said, oh, It's God. very important for me because what happened was about five years ago, six years ago, for some reason I wasn't able to do any work at the studio for a while. I think it had to do with my teaching schedule. I was teaching at the new school university. You still teaching there? No. Not anymore. I retired. No, I retired. How long ago? A year and a half ago. Okay, not too long ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I keep, I keep interrupting. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, and so I, I, um, I was teaching there, and I, I it, teaching satisfies some things, right? But the create my creative impulse was not going anywhere, and I found out I could take free classes. So I said, well, what do I take? I don't want to take a writing class. I went, I'll, I'll try a painting class, oil. I, I, I would like to know something about how to work with oil on canvas. I did a few drawing classes earlier in my life. but So I started taking the class, and I had the, the teacher was the best because I thought I was awful. I thought, oh, I can't draw a straight line. Oh, I can't get the color right. You know. right, right and he'd right. say, well, and I'd say, how do I do? And he'd say, well, how do you think you do? Well, I guess you do. And he'd say, you see, there, you have the answer. And he, he just kept encouraging me and telling me how good it was. And it's really good. And you're going to wind up being the best student in the class. And nice, nice. That's all nice. I needed that's to hear. That's all you needed to hear. That, oh, listen, wow. the first thing Lee ever said to me, the first time I did a scene in his class, he said, are you an actress, Marsha? It's the first thing he said. Are you an actress? I said, yeah. He says, you are? Are you sure? I said, well, yeah, I think so. I'd done a few plays already, you know. Right. Well, yeah, I, I think so. He says, do you really? He says, because you're not, you know. You're not. He said, you could become a great actress if you would shut up and just listen and learn because you don't know anything about acting. And he said, you could become a great actress. So I, he said the right thing to me. You know, not just you could be a good actress. No, no, a no. great he actress, said he, said, he said. Oh, said yes, it. thank you. All right, I'll listen. Well, <laughs> you know? Of course, you better right, listen. Right, right, right. So anyway, this painting teacher was very encouraging and really terrific. And I did a lot of work. And then I just start, I kept taking classes, other classes with other teachers. And... And then started painting on my own, and I, I, in five years, I've done a little over a hundred paintings. That's and pretty I've impressive. sold about twelve. Um, I'm, now you're bragging, Marsha. <laughs> what the hell? Let's brag. This is what yeah, we're yeah, here yeah. for. Okay, yeah. that's pretty impressive. And I love it because I realized as I was painting, I said, "Oh my God, thank 
God, I've found something I can do. I don't have to wait for somebody to cast me. Right. I don't have to right. I don't have to schedule a rehearsal to get Good together with somebody you. else. Yes. I can do it whenever I want. Not only that, when I'm done, it's sitting there. I can look at it whenever I want, for however long or short I want to look at it. That's pretty. Now, you see, now I'm kind of trying to picture you in my head. Yeah. When you're painting, what do you do? Or what time do you paint? I mean, is there any specific hour that you like to do your work? I, I tend to work around three or four. In the afternoon? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know why, but that's when I tend to do it. I swim in the morning. Right. You know, I take it easy. Good I for believe you. in taking it easy. Boy, good for you. <laughs> I, I mull over my coffee and my toast, and then I go for a swim. And, and you watch I, TV, too? Oh, yeah. Okay. I have the TV on while I'm painting. Good for you. I cannot live without TV, baby doll. I die. I need, I need that, uh, not distraction. It relaxes me. Me too. I, I don't, I have no idea what's going on on, t on right, the TV. Right, but you need to hear that it's yes, there. Yes, yes. It is on. Yes, yes. Good. Yeah. And when you're painting, how many hours do you work? Like it's... It varies. Okay. But usually three hours... After about three hours, I'm, I get like, I can't see what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what I'm doing, so I have to stop. But you do it almost every day, then? Almost, yeah. Almost every Just single about, day? Yeah. Do you miss it when you don't do it? Yeah. A lot? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Are you more into painting than acting right now, Marsha? I know it's a stupid question, but hey, I have to ask you. You know, it, I, I can't say because one does not satisfy the need of the other. Right. Painting is a very solitary thing, which I love. I love. You love to be with yourself. Oh, yes. I really do. But I also have a, new, a need to communicate with other people so that I don't feel like I'm a freak. You know? Right. Because otherwise, you know, I think, where am I? <laughs> you know? It's incredible because I hear you talking. It's, oh, fuck. You see, like... So, about the work, I'm sorry, I think yeah. about the work in the studio, the times that I've seen you working there, and it's like everybody looks up to you, and all the members look up to you in such a special way. And when you see the work and you see the magnitude of your truth that is essential for any actor anywhere, I don't care if you come from Russia, from Costa Rica, from Germany, it doesn't matter, it comes down to the truth. Yes. Oh, you know, when I direct, most of the directing that I've done, the professional directing that I've done, has been in Portugal. Because oh. I teach, I've been teaching in Portugal for 18 years. I go and I do workshops there. And I've directed at the National Theater there. And, and oh, how cool uh, is two, that? Two productions. It's great. Mm -hmm. They act in Portuguese. I only speak English. But you know what's going on? I do. Now, here's the thing. It's great, really. Because if I'm watching and suddenly I don't know what's happening, then I know something's wrong with whatever's going on on stage. Because right. I should be able to know what's happening even though I don't understand the words. This is my old famous Russian teacher used to say Yeah. That. She said it doesn't matter what, I need to understand what's happening yes. on stage. Yes, yes. Regardless of what you're saying. Right, exactly. So it's really interesting doing it, uh, d directing in another language. Interesting. John yeah. Strasberg too, he was talking about it when he was here, that he, um, that he directs Plays in Spanish in Spain. Yeah, yeah. You go to Spain, and and I was shocked when he was able to speak Spanish. I said, "Oh, wait a second. So we turned the conversation. We started talking in Spanish. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my God, this is so exciting!" But I don't really speak Portuguese. But but you can direct. Yes. In another language, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Now you're a tough director, are you? No. No. Well, I'm a tougher director. Do you look tough? I'm Marcia? tougher you as a director tough. than as a than as a teacher. Uh -huh. I'm tougher as a director, I mean, because you need results. Right. You know, you have to get results as a director. Uh, you're you right. can't, you you're can't, right. you know, we open in three days. Right. Not six months. Right. Whereas when you're teaching, you can say, okay. Let's take the time to discover and do whatever. Yes, right. Ah. So when you're directing, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't think I'm tough, but I'm, I'm, I expect people to do what they need to do. What happens when you get do? upset? Do you get upset? Do you ever lose your temper with actors? Uh, 
What gets you? What what gets you going when you go to see a session in the studio? When you go for a class? Oh, what I, drives you nuts? I walk out. <laughs> oh, I walk out. You when walk I get, out when something drives me nuts. Yeah. What drives you nuts? Um. Well, it's different as an observer than as a director. What drives me nuts as a director is is when the actor doesn't work with me. You know, I mean, I'll, I, I'll, I'm very open to what an actor brings. I want what an actor, actually when I direct, what I usually do is I, we read, we read, we talk, we read, we read, you know, maybe we do an improvisation, but usually not. And then I say, okay, go work on that scene and then bring me something. Because I wanna see what the actor's input is. I want to get them to bring me something to work with, and then I and then I uh, and then I can modulate things or stage something, you know. Interesting. I hear a noise. Oh, we done? This is a joke. Wow. Is, we ha I have not even talked about Gina Bonatti, my girl. She's doing a play. Uh, the a nasty tempered man for the New York City Dream Up Festival. Coming up this coming week, and sending my love to you, Gina, and all the members of the Actors Studio, and all the wonderful actors who are doing incredible, amazing work, not necessarily on Broadway. I just want to make that clear, right. because there's so many great, talented actors out there, there are. fighting for the dream every single day, auditioning, working, taking classes, taking workshops. My love to each one of you, because you inspire me. We didn't talk about this book, Stella Adler on Ibsen Strindberg. Oh, the best. The best. You see, we were connected. You see how yes, connected yes. we were? Yes, yes. And I'm reading this book for a second time, and Marcia said, oh, Sissy, that's a great book, with the master, Stella Adler, right here. Yeah. I cannot get enough. You see, this is, uh, I, this is, this is my problem. When I do <laughs> this, once we do, my mic, 